Today I want to talk to you about the Slim Jim. No, not the food item or the locksmith tool. In this case, Slim Jim refers to something in the direct marketing world. It's in the Magalog family. This is your average size Magalog at about 8.5 by 11. And this is a Slim Jim. It's about 6 by 10.5. If I put them together, you can kind of get a better idea of the size between the two. Now, that size is important because often a Slim Jim is less expensive to mail than a Magalog. But this is where you want to work with a print broker or someone you trust in the printing and mailing world. They'll be able to help guide you through that process because sometimes even a quarter of an inch can make a big difference in your printing and mailing costs. Now size is also important when it comes to a Slim Jim because it's unlike most other things that you get in the mailbox. It's smaller than a magazine but larger than the bills you typically get. And also, since it usually doesn't come in an envelope, a Slim Jim, or a Magalog for that matter, is very easy to open. And that's half the battle that direct marketers always face, is how do you get someone to open the envelope? Well, with a Slim Jim or a Magalog, you don't have that problem because it's very easy to open. Here's an example of a Slim Jim from Consumer Reports. Even Oprah Winfrey has used a Slim Jim. I show you some pages from that Slim Jim in my Magalog webinar that you can find on my YouTube channel. If you'd like some help in determining how to put this powerful format to work for you, please contact me at magalogguy.com. I offer a free consultation by phone to talk about your needs and answer any questions that you might have. I'd be happy to talk with you about Slim Jims and Magalogs and see how they might fit into your marketing mix.